We are doing whatever it takes. It's about giving your all. From the players on the field to the members in the stands. Do whatever it takes. Call one 300 go bombers Far from finished, I guess, was it sort of nice to sort of be in your new home? Yeah, it's nice to be out here with our own uh, ground and uh, it's going to be a few months away from getting the facility, but um, you know, once we're out training here, it sort of feels like it's a lot closer than uh, what it is. And to have you know, your own area and, and the ground that you know you guys are the only ones going to be on, it uh, certainly feels a lot closer than what it did six months ago. And the surface sort of feels a lot different from Windy Hills players, have you, have you noticed that? And hopefully it'll be good injury sort of prevention. Yeah, it's been uh, terrific. We've been really surprised at how well the ground's come up and uh, the evenness of it and the softness of it. So just to be able to have you know, no cricket pitch in the middle makes a huge difference when you're trying to train and, and the dimensions that are similar to the MCG just makes it uh, a lot easier to practice things that uh, you know, you, you're going to implement during the season. Fitness is obviously a big part of this time of year and a lot of people are commenting that you boys look a bit leaner as a collective. Uh, Hurley in particular has been mentioned, even, even yourself. Uh, is, that, is that the case? Yeah, I think that a few guys have been sort of conscious about getting a bit lighter and as the game's sort of moving a little bit more into endurance sort of uh, a style. Uh, but uh, we've been, uh, the most pleasing thing has been uh, the numbers that we have training at the moment. Uh, I think there's, you know, maybe one or two guys who aren't able to complete it and even they're only a few weeks away. So just to be able to get the work into such a large majority of the group has probably been the, the biggest difference from 12 months ago. Yeah, that's a real different story to 12 months ago, isn't it? Yeah, it, it just means that the, the work that guys aren't, they're not coming in underdone or trying to catch up and and, and when you're trying to catch up, it, it means that you're pushing harder and that can lead to you know, some injuries that we, that we did have uh, you know, 12 months ago. But to be able to get the work into the guys that we have uh, just means that you can really set your platform up and, and it gives you some, some uh, I suppose, a bit of a safety net. Who's really impressing you out there? Yeah, I mean, the way Hurls has sort of come back and, and the way he looks, um, Michael Hibbard's another guy that, that came to, to Colorado and I think it was a really, really beneficial for him. Um, and, and a few of the young guys that we got, we got a, a guy from, from Perth, Nick Coma, who, who's been really impressive. And, uh, you know, it's been nice just to have some, the fresh faces and, that, and that's the, I suppose, the change of the in, environment when you get new guys in through the draft, the, the excitement that they bring, um, it, it can uh, feed through for the rest of the club. He's certainly doing all the drills in terms of his marking and his wrists and all that sort of thing. Yeah, he was able to do all the running uh, before Christmas and then he got the, the cast off uh, over the Christmas period and so he's back into full training. So uh, I think that uh, he certainly noticed the difference, uh, you know, being lighter, uh, and uh, it's you know it's it's noticeable out there on the track. What do you get out of going to Colorado, and do you think a, maybe a bigger group will go at the end of this season? I think uh, for you know guys who have been in the pre seasons and done a lot of them, it was just the stimulus of a different environment for me uh, that I really enjoyed. Um, you know, training in the snow and, and that kind of stuff, hiking at altitude. Uh, it was it was certainly a, a different environment. Uh, you know, the altitude aspect of it. But uh, I think just for the older guys, uh, you know, it was that idea that we were training not in Melbourne in November, which was was just quite uh, enjoyable for me. And I think that there's uh, scope for a larger group. Um, it's just, uh, you know, having the right facilities there and planning and, and I'm sure that the administration at the club will be able to organise that. Did you come back and run a PV 2K? Is that far? Yeah, there's a few of us who, who did so. So it was just, I think there was that, that kind of environment, being in elite training sort of facilities and uh, a smaller group. And, and, and for me, it was just enjoying being in a different environment to train in. And uh, I think that as you get older, it can be a bit tiresome, you know, continually coming back uh, and doing the same running and all that kind of thing. So to be able to uh, integrate that with some hiking and uh, the altitude was really beneficial. This time last year, everyone was talking about Trav Collier and Jake Melksham having big years. Do you think this year will be the year that will actually sort of come to fruition a little bit more? Yeah, certainly the way that Jake and, and Trav have been training. Uh, Jake especially has looked really sharp. Um, I know he was uh, probably a bit disappointed with how his, his year was and, and he's been really working really hard uh, in the off-season to give himself the best opportunity to perform and, and it's been noticeable the way uh, he's sort of the way he trained last year was really impressive, but he's again taking it to another uh, level. Just going back to Hurley, do you think he'll start as a forward again this year, or maybe go down back? It's a good question. Uh, I think that uh, you know he'll probably uh, start as a forward. Uh, his flexibility means that he can play anywhere. Um, I think it will depend on where the, the team needs him most, but uh, certainly at the start of the year, I think that they'd like to settle him down as a forward, and and then it can be dictated too by what other things that happen.
A word on Brendan, if you can, and what he's adding to the leadership of the footy club? I think the, the professionalism that he brings, um, the standards that he sets, uh, and you know he's a, he knows what it takes to, to be a really elite player. And I think that the, the way he's not only conducting himself, but he's also uh, you know feeding that through to the younger guys. They they realise and they they see what he does, and, and they aspire to be at the same level that he is. What's your plans for NAB Cup? When do you think the senior guys will be playing, and do you think you'll be playing until third or fourth round? Or yeah, it, it's a bit a bit strange for us because we, we play the, a week before everyone else in the opening game. So we probably will have to get uh, a, some sort of game time in that first round robin. Uh, just, I don't think it'll be a lot, but just so that we keep ticking over because our, our, our program is a little bit disjointed to other teams. So we probably will play uh, in that early round. Your sort of uh, crash through bustling style sometimes perhaps makes it hard for you to be tagged anyway, but with the... With the inclusion of BJ, what does that mean in terms of how opposition teams are going to match up against you guys in midfield? I think it just gives you uh, another element of uh, depth, that, which we, you really need. And you look at all the good midfielders, players that, and the and the teams that they have that uh, those eight or ten guys who can go through the midfield. So uh, I'm getting the wind up here, but it, it will it will mean he's not the saviour, but it, it will mean that he's just another body that we can go through the midfield. Hey Joe, I know you've got to go, but just very quickly, uh, Glenn Maggie is on a fire threat at the moment. Have you heard anything from your folks or anything uh, about about that? Are you worried about your family home down there? Yeah, well, mum and dad just finished uh, building a place down there, so uh, I know dad was on the radio this morning, so I'm not 100% sure where in relation to the, the fires they are, but uh, we, we don't have any family members down there at the moment, but um, certainly uh, they'll be a bit concerned about where the, the fires are. Thanks, Thanks guys.